yo so you know jay wise is like the biggest rebel that you will ever view on youtube yeah the biggest rebel you'll ever listen to on youtube yeah and you know i always say oh you know fuck the world fuck people don't listen to no, what no one says and yeah, 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 you know, every man for themselves and fuck people's opinions and that, innit, yeah? Yeah, 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 I still stand by that, yeah? I still stand by that, yeah? But one thing I've learned, yeah? Especially in the business world, it's always better if people like you, innit? Yeah? I know you're thinking, yeah, obviously, especially if you're one of those type of people, like, you're one of those, no disrespect, you're like an extroverted type of person, but not just a regular extrovert, you're kind of like, someone who seeks other people's approval of course you're gonna want to have everyone liking you whereas me i'm more of an introverted person i'm more of a lone wolf i don't care about other people i can just do my own thing and be on my own and just be content and not worry about people you know validating me or nothing like that in it yeah but in business it's really important that people like you yeah now i'm not saying take disrespect I'm not saying, you know, go out of your way to get people to like you, but trust me, I've learned, especially of recently, but over the last couple of years as well, I've learned it's better in business if people like you, yeah? So I get my hair cut by one man and one man only, innit? Yeah? Shout out John Barber, innit? Yeah, like, that's my done, yeah? And when John's going on holiday, I'm upset. Cause when he goes back here, uh, when he goes back to Jamaica, I know he's gonna be disappearing for like three weeks and I'm like, but who's gonna get my hair cut in it? Yeah. Now anyone that gets their hair cut, any black brothers, they know like it's kind of like an unwritten rule. It's kind of like a cold thing, and it's just you get your hair cut by one man in it. Yeah. You don't like to get your hair cut by this man here and this man this one. Like, yeah. You just like to get your hair cut by one person. Yeah. And I was saying to him like, John, like. I know someone, like we both know, like myself and John know another barber, yeah? And I said to John point blank one time, yeah? John, my man across the road, he's technically a better barber than you. And John, my man across the road charges less than you. But do you know what? I prefer to get my hair cut by you, you know? Yeah? Not my man, cut with my man, yeah? He's Jamaican as well. But when you're gonna get your hair cut by him, he's gonna make you sit down in a chair and cut your hair like a little child or whatever, innit? Yeah. But when I get my hair cut by John, it's like it's it's a it's a it's a fun experience, whatever, innit? And we're just talking rubbish, we're just talking shit. Yeah. I said to John, listen, if you ever move like somewhere far, yeah, like South London or something like that, John, I will still come to get my hair cut by you. Yeah? And in my area, there's bare barbers. Yeah, bare black barbers. I passed a few black barbers on the way to get my hair cut by him anyway. And that's only like a that's eight, ten minute drive from my yard. So, man's going past all these barbers, but I'm going to him, car. I like the service that he provides. And that is like, that is a major thing. Even if I moved to Northampton, yeah, I would just come down to London every three weeks to get my hair cut, yeah, by him, yeah. Unless there was like an emergency where I couldn't get down to him and then obviously man, yeah, like some wedding come up or something like that, yeah? Not for no fucking date with no girl, yeah? But if it was an emergency, I'd get my hair cut by someone else, yeah? But that's just the rapport we got, yeah? That's why it's important to have a good rapport, good relationship with people in business. I'm an electrical tester, but I'm also an electrician, yeah? And it's people that I know, I am good at my job, yeah? I know what I'm, I'm doing, yeah? I know my stuff, yeah? But... There's certain people, they just like me, well, before when I used to do private work, they just like me working in their house in general, yeah? Because I don't charge too much, but my prices aren't dirt cheap, yeah? But because I've got a good rapport with people, they just want Jay in their house, yeah? Just doing work here and there, yeah? Because sometimes it's just the vibe that you bring, people just want to be around you, yeah? People just, just like the energy that you carry or whatever, innit, yeah? And more time, I'm talking to them rather than doing any work. So if a, if a job's supposed to take a day, it'll take me two days because I'm just chatting shit with the people, innit, yeah? That's the type of rapport you got with, you need to have with people in business, yeah? And recently, I've been moved from my job in Holborn, yeah? The operations director, the top of tops man, moved me from my job in Holborn and I was fucking gutted. Yeah, I was fucking gutted. Trust me. Wednesday night, well, Wednesday late afternoon, I got the phone call. Yeah, you're gonna need to go down to Clapham to work. And whoa, 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 whoa! My work is not done in Holborn. Yeah, let me give you a little briefing about Holborn. 
yeah I was working there from August the 20th to I'd say about January the 13th or 14th yeah I worked there every single day possible yeah? every day apart from one day to do an exam and it was an important exam I could not miss that exam yeah? every day possible imagine working from Monday to Sunday yeah Monday to Friday 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Every single fucking day, apart from that one day. Yeah? That place became my home. Yeah, it became my home. I'm not even messing around. Yeah, Man had t-shirts and stuff, clean t-shirts underneath my desk in bags. I had clean underwear, clean socks. Yeah, everything. People used to take the piss and be like, Jay, do you actually rent an apartment? Like, you've got a secret apartment upstairs because it's an apartment building that we're, we're managing. They used to take their piss, like, yo, like, when are you going to leave this place? You need a break. That place became, like, home. And I used to walk around and strut and just move, like, I, I ran the place. Because, trust me, if you're going somewhere every single day for three, four months continu continuously, like, without a break, like, that place becomes home. And I used to have good rapport with the building managers as well. Like, they were actually cool. They actually liked me because I was fucking good at my job. Yeah? They actually liked me because I was fucking good at my job. I remember one time... At a, we had we got like a notice that basically on the 6th of December if you don't clear out your locker um, on the 7th they're going to clean out all the lockers and discard any people's personal belongings whatever isn't it? because what happens is people put locks on their locker and then they get fired from the workplace and then they don't clear out their stuff so lockers are being uh, occupied but then there's no one actually on site who's actually using it because they've left so every now and then they have to do a sweep and a clear out whatever, isn't it? Yeah. and I was clearing out all my stuff to put it somewhere safe so that after they do the clear out I can return my stuff and one of the night managers one guy called David that man chat to because obviously I work so late I'm there when the night manager starts his shift he was like what have you been evicted and I was like you know what you're right you know like we got this term in construction called being pumped is being fired I would never get fired. I said to him, I'll never be fired from this place, you know. It's being evicted. I moved in. I set up base in this place, yeah. And I just love that job, innit, yeah. So when the operations director made me fucking have to go back there, like, man tried to escape from this new job back to my old job. Yeah, it was that bad, innit, yeah. But, fucking, it just reminds me of my cousin, yeah. Shout out my cousin, fucking d -Mitch, yeah. Free d -Mitch, yeah. He is from fucking Wood Green. And when he was younger, his mum decided, all right, cool, let me get my son out of, you know, like off the streets, isn't he? So I'm gonna ship him out to Essex, like, like no man's land, like, you know, country, isn't it? Yeah. To just try and like help him like, get out of that gang life, innit? Yeah. And he done what every road you would do, yeah? Monday to Friday, you go to school, and then what do you do? Break out. Yeah, on a Saturday and Sunday, go straight back to Wood Green. Yeah, but so that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. And fucking the operations director, he got vexed with me and sent me back there, innit? Yeah, so a man tried to escape from there a couple of times to go back to my old job. Cause I loved it, cause as I said, I got on well with the people them. Yeah, these are just the managers and stuff like that. Yeah, and as far like with regards to my team, all of my team members. They loved me. When I say my team members, they're the guys that work for me. Yeah, but I call them my team because I don't look down on them like they're subordinate. I don't think, oh yeah, I'm I'm your boss. You like you know, I'm I'm above you. You shut your mouth. No, I don't. I got respect for my team. Yeah. They got respect for me. They need to have respect for me. I got respect for them. Yeah. So obviously man's moved now, yeah. So I've been evicted. Yeah. I've been evicted from my workplace and man's moved. And obviously, man said man escaped back to the workplace, innit? Yeah, like, yeah, guys, I'm back, innit? Yeah, and they're like, they were so happy that I was back because they were sad when I was gone because they're like, Jay is a fucking nice supervisor. Yeah, he's a fucking nice supervisor, innit? You know how much people have told me on my team? You are the best supervisor I've ever had. Yeah, my team love me. Car, man care about them. Yeah, man care about them. Man had a situation on my team where certain man was trying to push man around and bully man up and that bro, that's not happening on Jay Wise's team yeah that is not happening when I heard that happen I rounded up everyone in one room and I basically said to them listen 
I've heard that certain men are trying to throw around their rape. Yeah. I'm putting a stop to that now. Yeah. If I hear that anyone is trying to bully anyone else on my team, you're gone. Yeah. And then I had to single out one person because I heard a rumor that one person was trying to bully up and push around one of my other team members. Because you have to remember, in a, in a room full of people, or even out of one or two people, someone's always going to be a little bit more stronger than the other one, yeah, naturally. Yeah, more stronger character. Isn't it? But certain people, they are of weak nature and they don't like confrontation. So anyone that they come in contact with who's aggressive, they just back down automatically. Yeah? And I have to take that into account. Yeah. So I heard one of the people then was moving a bit aggressive with the other person in it. Man put a stop to that in it. I single one person out and after I stuck it on all of them and this one particular person, I left the room but I had to come back and I overheard him saying, Oh, why is Jay attacking me? And I was like, Hold on a minute, I'm not attacking you, yeah? Let's just get one thing straight. I would rather get it wrong, because I overheard something, so I didn't see this for myself. I'd rather get it wrong and quote unquote attack you and piss you off than oh I don't want to offend that person but then that person over there might be afraid. No, I'd rather get it wrong and people think oh this guy's a dickhead or whatever and yeah behind my back. That's cool. Man look out for everyone. Yeah. Whilst I was in the room with my team members, I said to them, look, guys, I actually care about you. That's why I've brought you here. Yeah. I actually care about you. When you lot move to another construction site, I think to myself, I, I don't want you lot leaving my team because I know you lot are going to get treated like shit by other supervisors. Cause trust me, these white people in construction, man, them man, they, them man, they are raw. Yeah? Them man, they, they, some of them anyway. Well, they're raw when they're in, powers of position, in, in positions of power, innit? When they're out there on, on the street, man, them man, they are nothing, innit? Like anyone, yeah? But certain man, when they get power, they, they, they just take it to their head, innit? Yeah. So, man had to just lay down the law, innit? Yeah. I treat my members of staff with respect, yeah? But certain time, yeah, I have to stick it on them, like, no, it needs to be done this way, because that's such a reason, innit? Because people naturally will try and push the boundary, take the piss, innit? That's cool, innit? Yeah, man's ready for that, innit? Like, but them lot, my team members, they love me, yeah? As I said before, man escaped. Um, from the other site and came back to my original site yeah, to work and when I was back they were like yeah 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 they were happy that I was back and one of my one of my team members actually said directly if you're not coming back here again I don't want to work here I want to come with you to your next job and I said oh man that 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 actually touched my knee like right now man, man, I'm getting a bit soft man's got goosebumps because of them two now ain't it yeah but that actually touched me like raw like these men, like, they really like, man, innit? And obviously, like, I'm a cool supervisor, innit? So I let man slide, innit? I get away with little things and that, innit? But as so long as man, treat, you know, show man respect, do what man say, yeah? You're cool, you're cool man. Man, man, I let you slide, innit, yeah? So when, when, when a man said that to me, I was like, yeah, man. That's fucking nice, you know? Like, there, there, there's man that's, like, on my side, innit? You're like, you know, you're appreciating, innit? Like, the job you do, you're... you're you're fucking appreciating, man. That was that was fucking nice to hear, man. Might even bring a tear to my eye or something like that. Nah, nah, nah. Just joking. But yeah, man. It's good to know that, like, you know, people them they like you and it. Like, it's so bad. Like, my old job is coming to a close. But even if it was like right in the thick of things, or there was a lot more work to be done, let's say three, four months worth of work, because I'm away from that construction site now. I'm somewhere else. I have like. I could put down strong money and say, if I called up certain man on my team, yeah, the majority of them, there's only a few left because I had to get rid of people naturally as the job progresses and there's less and less work, I have to start cutting the labour down. So I have to start getting rid of people. If I called up them man right now and I said, look, I've got this job going on for three, four months, yeah, pack your stuff up and you can come work with me tomorrow. They would pack their stuff up and they would fucking leave, yeah, and they'll come and work with me, yeah, come. It's not, it's not even about the job, yeah? It's about working with people that treat you respect, yeah? And, you know, you have that good rapport with them. When I, when I do, like, my morning briefings with my team members, anyone looking 
in from the outside will could, could probably tell, okay, this guy is an authority because I'm not wearing any clothes. I'm just like wearing a tracksuit and black t-shirt or whatever. So I'm not wearing any like supervisor's uniform or nothing like that, yeah? So they could kind of tell by, you know, my mannerisms or whatever, and that, yeah, okay, this guy's probably the leader of the pack or whatever, innit, yeah? But I don't stand over them talking down to them. I'm one of the boys, yeah? I'm one of the boys. I sit down and bus joke with them, yeah? There's people on my team, they're older than me. So man still treat them with that elder respect, yeah? Because if we're outside of work, you're a big man for man, yeah? So man... You know, like I, I've got respect for my elders, innit? Yeah, so there's men on my team, they're older than me. I treat all my members of staff with respect anyway, but I give them man there just a tiny bit more respect because obviously their man there is, is, is more experienced, their man there is more older in the team, innit? So, yeah, man, I'm like one of the boys, man. I'll go out there and I'll work with them and get dirty with them, you know, no problem. Yeah, God. If you, when, when, when you're a team leader, innit? Yeah, sometimes, you know, you have to. Actually, get your hands dirty with it. Anyway. So, my, my my man, there, my team members, they love me. Yeah, I've even got one of my old team members that I had to tell him, look, you, there's no more work for you. We're cutting down the numbers now. I've got him at this new site. Yeah, and he's happy. Yeah, when we sit down and we chat, I just I can just tell him he's like, yeah, I'm with Jay in the car. Then man, no, when you're working with Jay, you're okay. And I'm not saying that just because it rhymes. Yeah, so it's fucking important to have good rapport in business yeah like, trust me it will go it will go a lot further in it as i said if i if if i called them man up today and i said pack up your stuff there's a job for you tomorrow they will be there tomorrow yeah that's what kind of impact i got on people around me yeah stay wise